I will get straight to the point. Today we are seeing strong, bullish reactions everywhere. All the indices are reacting well today, just above their own support levels and we see many stocks triggering or about to trigger important bullish chart structures. What Tesla is doing today is just another bullish confirmation signal, so let's study Tesla's price action together in this video. But first, welcome to the Finance Hydra channel. My name is Nathan. Let's take a look at this chart over here. This is Tesla's daily chart. We see a particularly interesting resistance level over here at $272.90. Uh, we did a false breakout over here on September 11. And then in the following day, we see a shooting star candlestick pattern, indicating that yes, Tesla could correct from here. Uh, it still, it still could correct. What's the problem with this top signal? The problem is that this top signal wasn't even triggered and maybe Tesla will never trigger this top signal just like it did multiple times in the past uh, with other false top signals. So, okay, we see a top signal, a possible top signal, which wasn't even triggered. And uh, right now, Tesla is trying to recover and to reject this uh, top signal theory over here because by breaking the resistance at $272, Tesla is telling us that, okay, this rally is going to persist. And this idea is reinforced by what, by what we see on the indices. If we take a look at SPY over here, look at this reaction. Look at this. SPY did a bottom signal over here right above the 21 EMA on the daily chart, the 21 exponential moving average. We did a, we, we did a classic, a classic bottom signal over here. We stabilized it in this area and uh, today we are breaking yesterday's high. What's more, it feels like SPY is triggering a bullish pivot point. It is making a higher high, higher low, suggesting that yes, we are officially reversing any possible bearish bias seen on SPY daily chart over here. QQQ is making a similar uh, chart structure. However, we have yet to actually trigger a pivot point, but uh, we are making a good bullish reaction just above the 21MA, just like SPY is doing. Uh, we are in a support area, right? We are near the bottom level of this ascending channel over here on QQQ. So, by doing this reaction, QQQ is making a very important bullish chart structure. And in this scenario, all tech stocks, including Tesla, Nvidia, will probably bounce to higher levels or keep going or keep the rally to higher levels from here. Because we are talking about QQQ, the tech stock index. I'm so sorry, it is the ETF of the tech stock index, all right? Now, we see the Dow Jones index, it is making a similar, uh, it is making a similar pattern. We also see a possible bullish pivot point over here. We are breaking uh, September 12th's high just above the 21 EMA near the bottom level of its own ascending channel. So see all indices, SPY, QQQ, it, uh, uh, the Dow Jones index, they are all triggering important bullish bottom signals around their own support levels. The market seems clearly optimistic. In this scenario, it is very, very likely that Tesla is going to keep going up as well. Can you, can you imagine a scenario where, where, where the entire stock market goes up except for Tesla? Of course, this happened in the past. It is very, very rare. And when we see such uh, price divergence between Tesla and the indices, usually they are short-lived. But, but still, it is a very rare, unlikely possibility. Probably in this scenario, Tesla is going to continue the rally. Of course, unlike the indices, Tesla is not near its own support levels. So, okay, maybe Tesla is not an optimal buy right now because we are far away from its support levels. And what this tells us, this tells us that the risk reward ratio 
is not that good right now at this moment. At, at best, I can tell you guys that Tesla is a hold at this moment, as a swing trader, in, in the humble opinion of a swing trader, all right? A retail trader, just like you, just like everybody else over here. Remember, we are learning together, we are studying together over here. And what I share on my videos, well, they are just my humble opinions, the way I read these charts, all right? So right now, okay, Tesla is going up, maybe it is not a buy, but it is at least a hold because the bullish perspective is still here. We don't see any top signal, we don't see any bearish reversal structure. Uh, can you believe that some people say, oh, Nathan, it seems like you are always bullish. This is not true. First, first, because when Tesla is dropping, I always, always tell you guys in this channel, I always say, guys, Tesla is in a bear trend right now. We are clearly bearish. Uh, in my Telegram channel, I gave you guys a short sell signal over here on July 31, uh, around $263 in order to capture the downside movement over here before calling a buy again on the $230 over here and again on 250s, I gave you guys a sell signal in this area so you don't know what you are saying. When Tesla is bearish, I'm gonna tell you guys here in this channel. And uh, by the way, if you wanna join our Telegram channel, the link is in the description, the link is in the fixed comment, I'm so sorry. And there is a QR code above this screen over here. So come on, just join us if you wanna keep in touch with my personal buy and sell signals on Tesla, SPY, QQQ, NVIDIA, and other stocks that I find interesting, all right? So second, second, Tesla is bullish. <laughs> there, there is no, what Tesla is doing right now, Tesla is making higher highs, higher lows. Do we see lower highs, lower lows? Absolutely not. Do we see any top signal over here? We see this shooting star. Was this shooting star triggered? No. So there is not even the possibility of a pullback. And, and in addition to this, even, even if it Tesla triggers a pullback again, even if Tesla triggers a pullback, guys, any pullback to its support levels would be just another buying opportunity. Again, because the risk reward ratio would be attractive and because we see a crystal clear support level at 261 and at the 21 MA over here. So if you ask me if by any means Tesla drop again to this area between this purple line over here, between the 21 MA on the daily chart, uh, in this yellow area over here, any any bottom signal would be another amazing opportunity to buy Tesla. Again, with a good risk reward ratio. What, what do I mean with good risk reward ratio? I mean that even if your thesis is incorrect, even, even if Tesla proves you wrong over here, even if you lose money, you're gonna lose a little bit of money. If this works out for you, you can capture a very good rally at least to the $300 area. So this is why, this is what I mean with good risk reward ratio. So this is my humble opinion, all right? And uh, if you are still watching this video and you are not my subscriber, come on, what the heck are you doing? Subscribe to this channel because, well, probably you found this video interesting so far and because I'm here every single day to keep you guys updated on Tesla, to share my own insights on the indices on SPY, QQQ, uh, etc. So come on, join the Finance Hydra channel community. I really appreciate your support, your audience, my dear friends. See you guys tomorrow. Stay safe. Bye-bye.